City of Knoxville celebrated the Juneteenth holiday today. A little background here. In 1865, on June 19th, people who were enslaved in Galveston, Texas, found out they were finally free, marking what is now known as Juneteenth. Six on your sides, Elizabeth Kubel went to a parade and celebration here in town held in its honor today. She's here in the studio with a look at some of the key moments from today. Elizabeth. Hi, yes, Lori. Knoxville is celebrating not only freedom today, but also an icon who champions civil rights. Remember, back in January, the city had to cancel its Martin Luther King Jr. parade because of the weather. Well, it was rescheduled for today, taking place alongside a Juneteenth tribute. I am, I am here, here. Happy Juneteenth Day! Today's celebration starting with a parade. Bands, churches, and members of community organizations walking about two miles together through Knoxville. City leaders, including new police chief Paul Noel and Mayor India Kincannon, were among those leading the way. The whole city is out here to celebrate Juneteenth, which is a celebration of freedom. Uh, we unfortunately have a very challenging history of enslaved people, but we also have a history of freedom, and this is one day where we celebrate that, and we've got kids, and we've got police officers, and we've got elected officials, people from the city, people from the county, uh, people from the schools, uh, from University of Tennessee, all here to celebrate Juneteenth, and also our belated uh, King Day Parade, which had to be canceled due to the ice storm in January. The parade ended here at Dr. Walter Hardy Park. I can stand on it is where the Beck Cultural Exchange Center's Juneteenth Memorial Tribute immediately followed. Why did you come out to the, the celebration, the commemorations today? Well, I wanted to learn some of the history of Juneteenth myself. Oh, freedom. I hope that people will come away from this event and every year on Juneteenth with a resolve to be better because each of us has something that we can do. Each of us can do something to leave this world better than we found it. And that's the charge, right? That as we hear about injustices, as we hear about the unjust history or systemic issues that we have dealt with throughout our history, what's your role to play? What can you do to make sure that history mm, in the future is much brighter than it was in the past? And when I talked to Mayor King Cannon today, she also told me Juneteenth will be a paid city holiday starting next year. Lori. Elizabeth, thank you so much. And you will remember, everyone, President Biden signed a law last year making Juneteenth a federal holiday.